every spider that you've ever carefully put a cup over and slid a piece of paper under and then gently released outside died outside, probably. They can't live out there. This was one of my first unfun facts several weeks ago, and a bunch of you didn't believe me. One of the people who watched this and didn't believe it was a reporter who wrote an article for the Huffington Post where she skeptically went to a bunch of spider scientists. They said I was right. Myth confirmed. Look, Ma, I finally made it. App user Alex Falcone. But what do you do? Spider scientists say, you just let them go. You just nod at them, say, hello, Charlotte, and then walk away. That's a fine solution, because they will eat some other bugs, they'll eat some other household spiders sometimes, and that's good. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. But I've come up with some more practical solutions. One, you can have uh, a shed or a garage or just a big cupboard in the backyard and you put them all in there and let them fight. You could just abandon the room that you find them in. Just give it to them. That's the spider's house now. And I'm sorry if your child is in there. Hopefully the spiders will raise them well. This one's bad advice, but if spiders can't live outside of a house, that doesn't mean it has to be your house. You can put them in your neighbor's house.